Jen here with my How to Kill a Kit with Style Kit for March. So March's theme is reading books, all that good bookish stuff. So I have uh, pulled out a bunch of stuff. I'm a big reader. I am all over Goodreads. I've done reading vlogs and reading updates and stuff on my channel. There's a playlist if you want to check any of those out. I, I love to read. I usually read probably anywhere from three to ten books a month. So yeah, it's, uh, it's just something I've always done and I know a lot of us scrappers are also big readers. So this is going to be a fun month with lots of really super fun um, kits that are being built. Now I've pulled out a bunch of stuff but I'm, I'm going to tell you in all honesty I know I have embellishments that are just reading embellishments. They're not all here because um, they're kind of in different places all over and in my, my big container I've showed you guys filled with all of my embellishments and stuff like that. And I'm kind of racing to get this kit put together a little bit because it's already the third of the month and I haven't got this out. Um, because it's been kind of hectic and crazy and <laughs> just, you know, life. Life is, is happening all around me. And so I want to get all this stuff out, but I know that at some point I will probably be showing you things that I've added because I've, you know, been able to take a couple of minutes to try to find them. And I think what I'll probably do is a lot of that stuff, if I've, you know, got five or 10 minutes where I can sit down and go through and find all of those embellishments and stickers and stuff like that, I'll throw them into my build a page kits. And then that way I show you each of the kits that I build. So you'll be able to see those extra supplies. So, uh, fear not, I will make sure that you see if I add anything new, but I just wanted you to know right from the beginning that I have other stuff. Um, so let me show you what I've pulled out. Where do I even start? Well, here's my container where I build my kit. So let me kind of push this all over so I can put it here and then just slide it into its spot. Okay, so I do have a few things still in here. What I have in here is my pictures. This is pretty much all Christmas photos, just so that I can keep them handy. It's not all of my Christmas photos, it's just the ones that I would like to keep kind of working away at. So that's in here and I will add some new pictures for this month. Then I have this one piece of paper that has fo been following me since January. I just think it's really neutral and I'm just gonna keep popping it in here because it works. Uh, I have these which I'm carrying over from month to month until I get a few more of them all kind of, you know, used up. So those can go in. They make great titles, so I might as well keep them in there. I also thought I would keep this stamp in here just for a few more rounds maybe um, because I think there are a few things that I can use. Nothing too bookish, uh, you know. But I was even thinking like if I use this stamp just for the nice big coffee cup size, I could cover up the words and not necessarily have it say boy mom fuel. I could cover up boy and just have it say mom fuel. There's lots of things that I can do with it. So I thought I would go ahead and keep that in there for um, a, a couple more rounds. We'll see. And so those were already in the kit. Let me show you what I've pulled out to add that is brand new. Okay, so in here, I actually have two things stacked on top of each other here. Um, so I have this traveler's notebook that has all my kind of bookish stuff in here, stamps, there's some bits of ephemera and cards and just a bunch of different things. Um, these flare and everything used to be in here as well. And then underneath I have a piece of paper. I'll just go ahead and actually stick that right in there. And then a different type of album that I was kind of, you know, tracking my books and reading in. So I have started a few times trying to do the reading journal tracking, but you can see like I've stamped and then I haven't really followed through. 
I wanted to put pictures on this side of all of the books on my TBR and then I do have them all here with little um, you know thoughts and my my review I guess you could say and what their star rating is that I gave them um, so I kind of started this books on my TBR that I didn't get to read this month I've listed all of those but I didn't really finish. I didn't do anything else. I just found it was a lot of work and I don't know if I was super enjoying it. And anyways, yeah, didn't finish it, but it it's in here. It was an enjoyable process to start. I do love this traveler's notebook. And so I thought I could just go ahead and keep some of the elements and cover up other pieces and start fresh. So I've left that in there. Um, and I have a couple other ones that all kind of went together. So they're all in there. And then for this one, this is just one of those little golden books that um, Tori Basal created. And so she kind of turned it into a bit of a junk journal. And I thought, well, I can go ahead and use this as a reading journal, but again, I didn't finish it. So I do have a ton of pictures that I've just been throwing in um, that are all my different books and reading, but I haven't actually put them down anywhere. I did do, you can see, I started and kind of did a little bit better <laughs> with this one. Um, so I've got my book goals and then I started listing all of the books that I had read um, and like, you know, coloring them in. And so these are all books that have been read. Over here, I started my series that I was reading. So like The Lunar Chronicles and Dorothy Must Die, The Illuminae. And then I could color in these little triangles as I got them finished. So I can already see here the Caraval series. Um, Caraval, Legendary, and then there's one more that I now own. So I can go ahead and add that. In the Witchland series, I think I now have all of those books so I can you know make sure and check off that I own them all in the wayward children series I'm still trying to collect them so this is useful information I wouldn't necessarily want to get rid of any of this um, but I didn't really do the whole sort of chronological uh, reading portion of this very well so I started here with some January here's my TBR for January I love how I decorated all of it I love the um, you know the picture and then here I can see I've read every single one of those books which was really great I have them listed here all the books that I read um, I love all of that but if I'm not gonna follow through with it I feel like uh, you know, I'm putting in the effort and I'm starting all these albums and I'm not finishing them. I have some pictures here of the different books. I love this kind of portion of it. Uh, and then the book haul that I had that month. And if I look through here, I think I've probably read most of these as well. So that's really good. Um, but anyways, I got to February and that's it. That was kind of where it ended. So. I'm not great with the whole book journal follow through, but I think what I might be able to do is go back and maybe just tone things down a little bit, make them a little bit more simplistic. And this is obviously several years worth of pages to be able to document. So maybe I can be a little bit creative and find a way to just kind of document the books without necessarily worrying about them being in any type of particular order chronologically. So um, I haven't totally scrapped it. I just need to find a way to be a little bit creative and get these used up. And I love, I love the book itself. Um, she's, you know, just added all these really fun papers to it and she bound it in that Coptic style. And so yeah, I definitely want to get it used up, so I'm going to keep it in my kit. How far I get with it, I don't know. If I pull it out and just maybe play with it, I might film it or maybe do, you know, a couple of TikTok little videos or shorts that I, I post on YouTube as well, just to give you glimpses of what I'm doing, but I wanted to throw them in there. And then let me show you all of the stamps that I have. So I've got one more chapter from 
uh, Wild Whisper. I'll leave a link for this down below because you can use my discount code DTGen to get 10% off if you want uh, Wild Whisper stuff. Their um, book collection is called One More Chapter and so I've got doubles of everything. So I've got the stamp, I've got the ephemera. This is my second pack of ephemera because I've basically used up all the first pack I had. Uh, I also have the flare, which is right here. I took it out of its little bag because I used it um, yesterday, two days ago. Um, I used it on March 1st. So yes, three days ago, I guess now, uh, to create something. So that flare will go back in its bag. I have, let me get this all kind of in a bit of an order. So I have the collection from Finders Keepers called Libris Shmibris. And so it came with two stamp sets. Um, I've used this stamp many, many times and this open book is the ones that I tend to use the most. On this side, I haven't used any of these, but I think I should kind of challenge myself to maybe at least get some of them used, like read a book or just books, that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but it's in there anyways. And then I also have the um, Feed Your Craft book collection. Uh, Brandy Kincaid actually designed this one for Feed Your Crafts. So I've got this stamp set, and you can see I've used this one quite a bit. I've used this open book as well, and then some of these shelves and stuff like that, this chapter. So I have used this one. It's split open because I use it so much. Uh, and it also came with some stickers. So you've seen that in this album here, a few of those stickers. And then it came with ephemera and it came with cards, all of which, again, I was using in here. Um, so I've got all those in there together. And then these are a few kind of generic ones. I think, I think I got definitely this one and maybe this one from AliExpress. Um, just because I just wanted different styles of book. This one I feel like didn't come from AliExpress, but I don't remember where it came from because I obviously did not keep it in its package. Uh, but this one I do use quite a bit. I use this square here, and then I use the stars to, you know, be able to color in what my star rating is for each of the books. Um, I've used book club a few times. So yeah, so I have used this. These ones, they're basically brand new. I think I've used just this stamp out of this one. And this one I haven't used at all, but I have a bunch of them. They're all in there. They're all gonna go into the kit. And I figured at the very least, if I'm using some of the stamps to create embellishments, then that works really good, so. That can go right there, and this can kind of tuck in right here. I have a few elements of Wild Whisper stuff still out here just because, like I said, I actually used it this past week in my live to create some embellishments. So those can go ahead. I'm going to kind of tuck them in here because they're a little bit smaller. Let me find those embellishments. Here we go. Pull you out and I'll pull you guys out. Okay. So what I created in the live is this really fun kind of bookmark styled shaker pocket. And of course, knowing that the live was March 1st and that it was a book theme for How to Kill a Kit with Style, I thought I'd go ahead and combine the two and create some embellishments to go on my kit. So this one can go in the kit. I put a flare down there. I used cards from the One More Chapter and then, I don't know if you can see there, but that long stamp is what I stamped in the background. So that will go in there. Then I created a teeny tiny one. I kind of wanted to showcase a few different ways that you could create little shaker pocket embellishments. So this set of sequins is actually the 
um, one more chapter sequins pack that was made by um, Jody from Spiegel Mom Scraps for Wild Whisper. This stamp, the outline that you see, is the stamp from Feed Your Crafts. And then the paper, the card that I used for the background is um, from the One More Chapter collection. So this little guy can go in here too. And then because I wasn't quite sure how I might want to decorate it, I pulled out a few different bits of ephemera from that collection. And then also some of the cards because I didn't know what I might like to use in my background. So all of that is from that same Wild Whisper collection. So I'll go ahead and put this into its bag. And then I will have a few extra options for, you know, ephemera and stuff like that and using some cards and maybe turning some more plain pieces of paper that aren't necessarily book themed into a book layout by adding these. So that can go in there. Um, I was gifted the coolest gift over Christmas, a book subscription, not for Christmas. I was actually given the book subscription box by the people who run it. They're from my town. So it's Rocky Mountain Tales. It's a book subscription box. And um, I shared some of their information because I think that that's super cool. I'm in a you know, a fairly small town. And so to have companies like this um, that are from my town and that are doing things like sourcing all of the extra little perks and goodies from local businesses and supporting, you know, small business here, I think that that's absolutely amazing. And so I definitely wanted to be able to share and support. And so they gave me a box to kind of, you know, go through and review. And I thought it was super cool, great box. So I've got these two pieces. This came from the lid, the inside lid of the box. It's just a big label sticker. This is a little bookmark that they included. And so I wanna be able to scrap with these, probably the picture of this box that I got. Um, and so I'll have to grab that picture out. But yeah, I thought that was so cool. And so I definitely wanted to make sure that these made it into my kit. I will link them down below. If you are looking for a Canadian subscription box, please check them out. And uh, yeah, you could get a little, a little piece of my town every month. Um, the books aren't local necessarily, or even Canadian authors, but the extra little goodies that you get with it are definitely sourced locally uh, and, and super cool and all Canadian. So um, I will leave the links, go check them out. I'm gonna add this stuff into here. I just stuck the sticker right here because I don't want to stick it down yet. I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with it or how it might end up being scrapped. So I think on my tin, it should be just fine. Um, some library cards that I just had with my tags. So I will put those in as well. I have this book that I use to like pull pages out of and just use it for text. It's a duplicate. I bought it specifically for this. I know for some people it's really hard to stomach using book pages and tearing up books, but I promise you this was purchased specifically for that. And I have a plan for the cover because it is just a really nice plain cover. So I have a plan to use that as well when the pages start to um, run out. But I usually have a couple of books. I buy them at Dollar Tree. I try to find ones where it's just plain so that I can craft with the cover. And I've done all kinds of really fun things with book pages like make pumpkins and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I always have some that I, I can craft with and pull pages out. And so I definitely wanted to add that into my kit. So I'll just pop that back there. And then here are the papers that I've pulled. So um, this first paper, I have 
two pieces of it because I actually have this pack twice because I loved it so much. It's one of my favorites. It's the fandom collection from Wild Whisper, but it has the books on it, so I thought this was perfect. Plus, it's a good compliment on the other side. Um, it's stars. And so stars obviously go really well with books because we tend to rate books by, you know, the five star system. So I thought these papers would be really good in the kit, but they are from the fandom collection. Then I have whatever bits of um, one more chapter that I have left over. So I've got this piece, which I, I think I cut some of the little squares off of the bottom. I have this lonely piece left. It's like crumpled paper on one side and then just text on the other. I have this piece here and it's, you know, pens and stuff on this side. I have these stars and then this is like your date stamp, um, you know, library card type, um, font here with just a bunch of different dates. So that is all the paper I have left from one more chapter, but obviously it's going to go into the kit because it's a book collection. So it's going in there. Then I also pulled out uh, some of my more specific themed stuff. So I have a whole collection here of Alice in Wonderland themed papers and stickers. This is the Echo Park collection called... Uh, what? What did they call us? Oh, they just called it Alice in Wonderland. And then I also do have in here a little bit of this Bow Bunny collection called Land of Wonderland. Oh no, sorry, Land of Wonder. <laughs> um, so that is also in here, kind of interspersed. I've just kept it all together in some plastic. So that will go in my kit. Then I've got some Harry Potter papers. So I've got these three papers from Color Play. This is called Wizard World. And so I've got the ties with the uh, moons and stars on the back. That will go in. Here's Harry on his uh, broom. I've got the two plaids or tartans. And then this is a cut apart sheet. So that can all go in. Then I do also have some Harry Potter papers from Scrap Your Trip. So this one, you can kind of see, it's very, very subtle. It's just plain on the other side. And then this one is sort of the Quidditch. I don't know if you can tell right here. And there you can see the stands where everyone is, but the Quidditch pitch. Um, this one's called Quidditch, and this one's called Hogsmeade. So, very simple, exactly what they are. <laughs> uh, so those can go in my kit. I've had these all for a while and just haven't gotten them used up. I have another sheet of this paper. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same collection, but this is the six by six paper pad, whereas this is a cut from the 12 by 12 sheet. So both of these I think came in sample packs, if I'm not mistaken. I will put those together. Um, here are some stickers from the Libra Shmibris collection. I showed you the stamps uh, in my green little book here um, from Finders Keepers. I do have some papers that go with these as well. So I'll go ahead and put the stickers into the kit. This paper is from Echo Park. It's called Once Upon a Time and it has just your bookshelves, which I think is so gorgeous. It's just plain red on the other side. Here is a full sheet of that book paper, which I think I went back out and purchased for myself because I just really liked it. Um, so this is Let Your Heart Decide from Pink Fresh. And this is what's on the back. This is a Bo Bunny collection called Toy Box. And so the whole collection is sort of more, uh, you know, kids and toys and that kind of stuff. But this one in particular is a bookshelf. So that's why I put it with my book stuff. So that can go in there. These are a couple of really beautiful tags that I got um, from, I think, Treasured Memories. 
and so I thought they were really nice. Here's some book spines, and then this one's, I don't know, it's kind of haunting, a little sort of Miss Peregrine feeling to it, and so I have those two. I think they're really pretty. I haven't used them. I think I probably got those like maybe eight years ago. <laughs> um, this paper is from My Mind's Eye, and it has all the library cards on it. This is the Now and Then collection. And this is what's on the back. This is another piece that came from the same place as these tags here, which I just thought was really pretty. Again, it's very dark, but I just love it. I think you could actually frame this and put it up on your wall as art. And it's just these kind of folded and crinkled pieces of paper, but uh, like book paper, but then it kind of looks like a flower. Very, very pretty. Okay, this is the Libra Schmibris collection from um, Finders Keepers. So I've got a couple pieces of paper left over here that I've used. I've got this paper, which I have used this already once before. Um, but I love the other side too. All of this is just like, uh, let me see, so it's just someone and someone and someone and someone and someone so it's just characters like um jim pinocchio geppetto hansel gretel Punzel, wilbur charlotte fern thumbelina lucy peter and it just keeps repeating all these words or all these names i should say so there's those two pieces this piece here you can use these as squares to cut apart or you've got this beautiful piece on the other side this comes from here. These were two cut apart pieces. I think I used it on this side though, the blue. And then I've got this full piece left, which I also think is very pretty. And then it's blue on the back. This piece here. And then here is the back of that, which obviously you can cut the pieces apart. Some more pieces that you can cut apart. They're just different quotes from different people. And here is the back of that. And then of course it repeats because uh, you got two of every piece. So there's that one. There is this one, which I've used the full sheet, I think. Yeah, I used the other side of this. So there's all those pieces to cut apart. Here is the same piece another one of these, another one of these. All right, that is Libra Schmibris. There are two washi tapes that actually go with it that I'll have to find, but my washi tape is kind of tucked away right now and I'm gonna have to dig through and find it, but there are two washi tapes that go with it as well. Um, and then the stamp set and the stickers. So we'll stick that in there. All right, this is from Pink Paisley. It's a Paige Evans collection. Which one? I don't remember. But it's not necessarily a book theme per se, but you can see that these are shelves and there are books kind of placed on the shelves. It has a bit of a sort of kitchen type vibe to it as well with some plates and stuff, but I just thought it kind of works with my bookish stuff, so that's where I've placed it. And then it's just hearts on the back. So that's a fun piece that I can pop in there. Here's some more of that Echo Park collection. This one's really pretty with the gold foiling on it and it just says things like Prince, Noble, Once Upon a Time, Imagination, Magic, that kind of stuff. And then here's the back. And then we've got this one as well. So I love all these little pieces that we can cut apart. And there's the back of that one. And then the last piece that I have of this collection is the castles. And you can see there's a little bit of foiling on the castle rooftops here. And then on the back, and it's just a beautiful text. So this might be the side that I use, but um, we'll see. I just thought this worked really good with the rest of the collection. Here is another Harry Potter piece from Paper House. 
And then the last two pieces that I pulled out are this paper here, which is more ledger than book or anything like that, but I still thought it worked. It has the lines on it and stuff, so I kind of like it. It's a very neutral background. If you can see that there, I think it's from crepe paper. And then just a really pretty pattern on the back. And this last one, again, not specifically bookish, but I've got the lines. I know this is more like um, a musical score, I think, than actual lines from a book, but I still really liked it and I thought the lines were good. And then it's got this on the back. So those are all of the papers for the kit. And then I did go through and pick out a few pictures. Um, so what I have here are, apart from the pictures that I kind of had stashed in here, um, oh no, sorry, in here, which I could take out of there and I could scrap some of those as full-sized photos, but I thought I would pull out a bunch of photos too. So I have this cute little, it's two pictures, um, I thought might pair really well with either the Echo Park collection or this one could be the page that I pull out to do um, with this as well because we are in his room and there's toys and stuff. But this is from Canada Reads Day and he has a whole bunch of just really beautiful Canadian written books from Canadian authors, First Nations authors and things like that because he's uh, Métis. So I thought that would be some great photos to work with. Also, because Little Man is Métis, he gets a free book every month from the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. So I've got some pictures here of his book that he got. He was super, super excited to get the little engine that could. He's super into trains. I've got four little photos there and I think they'll work with one of those collections. Uh, these are some of the audiobooks that I listened to last year. Um, I have my February 2022 TBR that I could put in there. This is my November 2022 TBR that I could put in there. This is a Christmas photo that I just wanted to tuck into the kit with the rest of my Christmas stuff. Um, another TBR that I have, I think this one was from January 2020. I've got a picture of Fox and Luna all snuggled up reading a book. He was reading The Hardy Boys. This is from 2020. I've got this cute little picture of my niece Lila sitting in Kaylin's little doll chair that um, she had actually given Lila. This was like a little American Girl doll chair, but Lila was so tiny she could sit in it and read her little book, so I thought that was really cute. And then I will go through my Project Life uh, albums because I know I have a couple that are not book themed necessarily but themed according to uh, like Harry Potter and stuff like that so that is my plan those pictures can all go in here and then yeah the only thing again that I haven't put in here is just little bits of ephemera because I really do have to go through them. They're kind of spread out all over the place. I feel like a lot of my Paige Evans stuff has, you know, a stack of books or something bookish, but it's not the whole collection. And so I don't have them necessarily separated, but as I plan each of the layouts, I'll go ahead and pull things out that I need to. And if I find a good stash of stuff that's all book themed, I will be sure to include those in my build a page kits and then that way you can really see in more detail um, some of those things. So let me pop that back in. Here is, it is super full and chunky, mostly because of this book I think. Um, so there is my March kit all set to go and now I just gotta get scrapping because we're already into the month so uh, let's go Jen. If you have any questions at all about anything that I've pulled out that maybe I went too fast or didn't explain, let me know down below in the comments. Please go and check out the links for everybody else who's created a March kit and uh, is scrapping away for March using all of the reading and bookish um, stuff that they have. All the links are down below and I'm sure they'd love you to go and visit. 
And that's it for me. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, happy scrapping. Bye. Bye. Thanks to me. To what button? Turn my channel.